Is God democratic? It depends on the God you're talking about. But uh, um, the God, if you say the God, only God, uh, Christian or uh, you know, Judaism tradition, I don't think he's very democratic or she is democratic because he rules everything. <laughs> It's not, I mean, there's no votes involved, you know, there's no voting system involved. So I don't think gods are basically democratic, but it depends on the god. Money. Uh, in this day and age, yes, definitely money. People say, you know, People distrust the government, that's why they don't vote, but I, I'm I opposite. I, I think it's the opposite. They trust the government too much that they believe that, you know, uh, the government can do a pretty decent job without you watching it. But that's, that's totally uh, a wrong idea, I think. Yes, yes. Only if it works in a good way. Um, but it's very tough. But I, I, I need to believe, or I, I'd like to believe that there is a chance because there is no other way around. Democracy could be good for everyone in a sense that it's fair. I mean, it, it could be fair to everybody because everybody has a chance to say something. And, uh, but the result of voting and the result of democracy may not be fair to everybody. Dictators could be good for a short period of time, but they definitely corrupt, I guess. So that's the problem. And probably dictatorship is the most efficient system if it works, but uh, you, I don't think it works uh, on a long-term basis, I mean, for a long time. So in the end, dictatorship, no, I don't think any dictators can be good. The Dalai Lama. <laughs> I'm a big fan of him. Yeah, yeah. and uh, it would be a very peaceful world. I mean, at least he will help it realize, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Can terrorism destroy the democracy? Yes, yes. It could destroy democracy, but what is terrorism? That's a question I'd like to ask too. And uh, what is the violence that's permitted? Um, that's a tough question. <laughs> women more democratic than men. I think women are more peaceful, but I'm not sure if they are more democratic. Uh, so the answer is no. Well, revolution, um, I don't know if the revolution is possible because I don't know that what, what is the establishment could be. I mean, establishment is everywhere and it's almost invisible in this world, in this day and age. And uh, I don't know if you can replace the establishment, establishment nowadays. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's so invisible and we are so involved we're, we're caught up in the system total system so unless you change the whole system it cannot be a revolution 